Hi, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. Markets are still looking a little bit on edge, lots of volatility yesterday, uh, especially on news that uh, the Russian government are doing tit for tat sanctions against the US and Europe uh, with uh, food import bans and uh, fruit and veg bans and um, 20,000 troops on the Ukrainian border. Uh, obviously doesn't really help things a lot, but um, that coupled with some uh, kind of mediocre data uh, has really kind of put the lead in the markets. Obviously there's been quite a strong sell-off, lots of volatility, so it's been bouncing around these levels quite a lot. And uh, last night, I think Australia posted its worst unemployment number in 12 years, um, raising expectations that the Aussie might be going through a rate cut at some point soon. Big moves in the Aussie dollar FX pairs last night as well. Um, with US 30, we are bouncing around about uh, potential support at 16,400. Uh, and most global markets looking at the intraday charts are looking pressured this morning again. So looking at the UK 100, very big, lots of volatility yesterday. You can see we went all the way down to 6581 pretty much, uh, which was a, a potential support level we've picked out there before. Um, a real hammer formation right up to the top, but again, a slow grind lower. Uh, technical indicators are, are, are neutral, indicating there could be still further room for, to, to move lower should the rest of the global markets follow suit. Japan 225 bouncing close to 14,977 uh, dollar yen, wasn't it? So the US dollar is quite interesting. Euro dollar has shot right back up again. Uh, probably more a dead cat bounce than, than any massive euro uh, strength. Uh, cables down, dollar yen is, is down. Gold's been obviously the standout. We'll talk about that in a second. Safe haven is still, uh, still in play. So I guess there has been a little bit of yen buying. I can see Euro Yen as well. It's had a little bit of buying there yesterday, uh, which would have been hurting Japan to do five yesterday. But we've had a little bit of a bounce today. Cap, but that 55 period SMA, that doesn't look good from a technical perspective in the short term anyway. So lots of pressure on that market. So looking at um, dollar yen, you can see it yesterday's session was, was, was terrible, really. So lots of yen buying. Uh, we've had a bit of a bounce this morning, but that's a real bad handle to have. Though we have bounced off the 21 and 55 period SMA. Lots of pressure building right here. I guess we're looking at the fundamentals again now. We're still thinking stronger US dollar, but people are really getting into the safe haven buying mantra, as you saw with that big massive $20 spike in gold yesterday, and there will be safe haven yen buying as well. Um, a very, very, very remote possibility that uh, the Russians are going to invade Ukraine, but lots of um, Euro member states posturing and positioning themselves to um, further, the, further their own agendas. Uh, but certainly it's not a great situation uh, with all these tit for tat sanctions, but um, you know, people will probably want to take some money off the table and there's lots of excuses to do so right now. So looking at crude oil West Texas, it is getting smashed about just now. This is actually really interesting. We're breaking below $97 uh, on the on West Texas. Brent crude is down as well. Our big supply glut right now. And uh, you know, for, for me, this is all about you know, lessening global demand in the future. People are you know, just getting out of, of, of crude oil because there's a lot of reasons in the future why there is uncertainty over the, um, you know, the, the demand for crude oil. Uh, and you know, th these technical pictures that you're seeing right here is uh, kind of lending itself a lot to a break below 76, 64, which is a potential support. The next potential support would be $95. But I guess the lower this goes, the better it is longer term, um, for obvious reasons. So looking at gold, uh, gold. if this was a wedge formation, which it looks like it was, big technical breakout, stopping bang on that 21 period SMA again, uh, and we're floating around there just now. So I think the market is just kind of waiting for that, for that next phase, um, that next directional movement. Uh, and the 21 period SMA, historically, a matter of fact, the moving averages in general on gold seem to work quite well and uh, it's still capping any gains on gold so far there today. And uh, as the US dollar become, it kind of comes back to life this morning against some pairs, uh, there might be a little bit of pressure on gold stopping it from breaking up any higher. So finishing up with, uh, with Euro dollar, as you can see there, we actually had quite a negative session at, uh, at one point throughout the day, and we've had a late rally, but it's slowly creeping back down again. Um, usual fundamentals behind weakness in the Eurozone and uh, more positive US dollar. Um, Russian sanction stuff that that could be quite problematic for the eurozone. Germany's just having an absolutely terrible time right now, which obviously is a big component of the eurozone. So there's lots of fundamental pressures on the euro. Um, it just depends if the U.S. can muster up any decent macro data to help edge that further forward. Um, cable has pretty much reversed all its gains that it made there on Monday and Tuesday. Bad day yesterday. Uh, it's, it's drifting lower again this morning. 
and I guess that is because we do have uh, we've already had the German industrial produ production which was pretty weak to be honest um, and you can see there that we've got interest rate decisions from uh, from the UK and the Eurozone that won't be anything exciting but then we've got US jobless claims which might be a catalyst for cable uh, and a catalyst for euro dollar as well so if you're into if you're an FX trader there's lots of reasons to get involved in the markets today depending on your view and that 130 figure there um, that will be interesting to look at five hours to go make sure you set that in your economic calendar there'll be uh, technical trade setups and kind of support from a global analyst team on the chart forum so make sure you get a chance to check that out already um, there are a number of posts going to be up there and uh, make sure you make insights part of your layer and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next